About maybe a few years ago, this actually happened to one of my good friends, which we'll call him Tristan. Now Tristan was basically about maybe 17 years old, and this happened sometime back in 2016. He was visiting at old house that his friend used to live in, mainly because his friend, which we'll call him David, David who used to live in this one big house. The house they, that David lived into was around maybe 70 years old, but unfortunately, due to the house falling apart, David's family had to move to another place. Of course, they lived in a, another better house, but David, one day, along with Tristan, decided to go visit David's old house. Of course, it was the Easter weekend, so they didn't, there wasn't any school or anything going on. So David spent his, well, Easter with David, as, well, Tristan didn't have anything else going on on Easter. So as Tristan and David were spending their East Easter at David's house, on Easter Sunday they had a good ham with big dinner and some of David's front well David's family members such as his grandparents from his mom and dad's side and even his aunt and uncle, their their family was huge, so it was no big surprise. But however, after the Thanksgiving dinner, it was sometime when the sun was setting, so Tristan and David decided to go pay Hey, David's old house at last visit before they, they demolished it. As they were planning to demolish it sometime after the Easter weekend. So David along with Tristan headed, o headed outside and told their parents that they were going for a walk. Their parents told them when to be back and not to be too long. So David and Tristan headed down the road and once they got down to the road, they ended up seeing David's house. The old house looked very old. There was vines covering a big chunk of hunk of the house, the the whole outside of the house looked like it needed to be painted, the shingles were, mi were missing parts of the roof, the windows were cracked open due to people breaking in, it was a lot. Of course he, the house was located in a, you know, a near the oh, entrance to the countryside of the town. So David and Tristan had to be there as there was no security guards or anything so they, David, who is about maybe 18, drove of him and Tristan to the abandoned house. When they got to the abandoned house, they ended up looking over to see that there was nobody there, which was to their relief, as they were afraid that there was going to be construction. But they did want to go look at the house before they demolished it. So Tristan, along with David, approached the house, but as they approached the house, they didn't see anyone in the property. Then they decided to find a way in, as they wanted to explore the house before it got demolished. Now, they had to try the front door, but obviously it was locked due to people locking it because when they were going to demolish it, they had to lock it to keep people from going in and entering the place. It was due to vandalism, which was pretty popular back, at the, back in the day, so of course, David, along with Tristan, had to find another way in. Some of the windows, most of them were boarded up due to people breaking in through the house through the glass windows, so they eventually found something at the round back. David was thinking that there might have been a back door that maybe other people used to get in and out, and of course they probably used something to open, keep the doorway open so that way they could enter whenever they wish. So David and Tristan ended up going to the round back of the house, and they found out a house. Well, they found another house, other houses that were around the area, the same age as the house that David was in. But most of them were demolished, and some of them were even for just left to rot. Or even some that they're reserved for reno renovations, and it was really a pain. So, so Dave and Tristan headed inside the house through the back door. And when they get inside the back door, they ended up looking around the house. The house was indeed old, and the walls were kind of moldy and rotted. There was no furniture in there. Maybe just a few, well, pieces from the rubble from the wall and even from the ceiling as the ceiling was coming apart as well. It was a 70 year old house so it was to be expected. But of course it was run down as many people who lived in the house before or David did was actually pretty, they be taken care of it for a while. But maybe they did have some damage in the past, so that could be it. David and Tristan ended up looking over for where where all the gla broken glass and some graffiti would be. 
they ended up exploring downstairs. But of course they decided to check upstairs as they heard some footsteps. David thought maybe somebody else was up there as it could be surprising as that back door was open. They headed upstairs towards the second floor, and as soon as they got up there, they couldn't see anybody. They ended up calling out to anybody who would be there, but they couldn't find anybody or at least see anyone. They checked the rooms on the second floor, but they ended up couldn't find anybody there. This is when something gets weird. David looked to see that there was a bedroom door that was open, so David was going to go inside to see what it was. The very second he got there, he heard a loud, bold, chilling scream from the other side of the room. He couldn't tell if it was a was a woman in stress or maybe an agony trying to break in or something. But David then turned to Tristan and said they had to get out of there. So Tristan and David ran, dip, booked it down downstairs and out of the house and not looking back. They got back into David's house and David drove as fast as he could until they got on the main highway and they looked but couldn't find anyone who would be following them. When they got back to the old, back to David's house, they didn't tell her family about what they did back there as they were afraid they would have gone into major trouble. If they had not escaped from that house and any later, of chances were that they would have been dead on Easter Sunday. In 2015, something really crazy happened to my friend, which we'll call him Andy. Andy was about 15 years old, and this happened about maybe 20, 2015. It was during Easter, and it was the, one of the holidays that had Andy really look back on this every time he thinks about this story. Now, to make it clear and give him a back, bit of background information, Andy was about 15 years old, and ever since he was 3 years old, he was living with his uncle due to his parents being unstable as they were having a lot of issues going on back at where they were. So, unfortunately with that, Andy couldn't stay with the parents, so his uncle was willing to take him in and live with him. Andy was basically on Facebook, it was at least on Good Friday, just basically checking on some people on Facebook and etc. As Andy was doing, doing that, he ended up getting a text from this one person, which we'll call her Dana. Now, he wasn't sure who Dana was, but he thought maybe it was just a friend from school or maybe just a random student he knew from school. But he wasn't really sure, as he never heard the word Dana, the name Dana before. To be completely honest, before this happened, Andy lost his girlfriend due to reasons I won't go into, but... Let's just say Andy's girlfriend and Andy weren't really getting along as they were going through a lot of issues at the time. Most likely, maybe some personal issues, which is most likely the case. Andy decided to message Dana, asked her a few questions like, How are you? And how did you find me? And etc. Andy was then given an answer by Dana, who basically explained that she was looking for friends on Facebook and finally was able to find find him in one of the lists. So Dana along with Andy were talking and as they were talking it was around around maybe four in the afternoon where Dana wanted to meet him on Easter their Sunday. Of course with that being the case and that being said Andy agreed to meet up with Dana maybe at a local park that was not far from where he was living at. Now he asked his uncle if he could meet this Dana girl his uncle told him them on Easter and why. Danny, Dan, Andrew told, or Andy, told, Dan, told his uncle about it. And of course, his uncle said that he could go meet up with her, her before dinner. And of course, Andy ag agrees and messages her, his friend, and let them know when he'll be able to, to visit her and stuff. So with that being the case and with that being said, Andy and decided to meet up with Dana at a park. When he got to the park, at least on Easter Sunday, sometime after, before dinner, Andy was waiting at the park for Dana. She waited, he waited for a bit, but there was no response from Dana as he messaged her on Facebook. But of course, she replied within a minute saying, Oh, I'm at the Starbucks coffee shop. Can you meet me there? 
With Andrew being, or Andy being so frustrated, Andy sighed and said okay, and he went over to the Starbucks, which was about a few minute walk away from the park. When he got to the, to the Starbucks, he ended up looking over to, couldn't see Dana, so he te texted her again, asking her if she was there, and she said, yeah, I'm by the dumpsters, I want to show you something. Andy had no idea what was going to happen, but as he approached what seemed to be close to the dumpster, about a few feet, he could see that there were a few men dressed in black, like wearing ski masks in the car. There was at least three or four of them, and he realized that this Dana girl must be maybe a, someone who catfished him. So Andy, Andy ended up booking down the road, not looking back, and he ended up blocking Dana's number, and even blocking Dana's Facebook page, and never ever talked to her again. When he got home, he didn't tell his uncle about this story or anybody about it, fearing that they would one day they try to go back for him. But ever since this incident, Andy has never seen or talked to Dana again. <laughs>